while. I got a full receipt for a necktie. I got a brand new house on the roadside and it's made out of rails they hide. I got a brand new kid that mama put on top and it's made out of human skull. Come on, take a little walk with me, baby, and tell me who do you love? Yeah, who do you love? Yeah, who do you love? Around the town I use a rattlesnake whip Take it easy, baby, don't give me no lip I'm just 22 and I don't mind that. Yeah, who do you love? Yeah, who do you love? Guitar Harris. All right, well, we've got a George Thorogood song and his version of uh, Bo Diddley's uh, Who Do You Love? Uh, Bo Diddley, I'm guessing this is like 50s, uh, probably. Uh, George Thorogood, 78, and it was probably his first big hit. Uh, great song, does lots of slide guitar, and uh, but the song is relatively simple, it's just that it takes a little takes a little energy uh, and you can do a pretty good job with with acoustic guitar now what we're gonna kind of start with the the bow diddly beat so to speak so really the only chords we're gonna be doing is we've got a, an E and we could do an, an A we could go and but most of the time it's And then we guess what we got down here? Another E and another D. So there's really not a whole bunch of chords in here. There's just just, there's just really more of a strumming thing, and uh, you know, using the uh, this D and E up here, and you know, the getting in getting in that little slide, which is pretty cool, obviously. Uh, and that pretty much what make up, makes up the song. So uh, there are a couple of things that he that he, that he does uh, that I didn't do there, and uh, I think he goes, comes up here and does a little E. And then there's another one I think he does here. things that he does kind of in the middle to, to you know, kind of fill in things. Of course, there's a whole band behind him, so <laughs> that makes it makes it better. Okay, so let's uh, zoom in here to take kind of a look here what we got going. So again, you know, pretty much a strumming pattern here, right? And, uh, and you know, and I'm going to do my on and off, rolling on and off a little bit too here, so hopefully you can see it when I'm just doing it. And I kind of, you know, I'm lining up with the, you know, with the strum, right? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So when the, when I'm hitting on the down strum, then I'm pushing down on on the, on these two fingers here of the E. That's, that's basically at the beginning, that's, that's all we're doing here.
Now, you can put those slides in whenever you want. So we got the A form. The A form, and I'm down on the, uh, on the seventh fret with my bar here. That's an E, and this is a D. So then you got this little strum pattern. And that is in a whole bunch of songs. <laughs> Allman Brothers, I mean, I, I just, I, I hear it all the time. Of course, it's got to be in the key of E, generally, before that works. So we're just going to do those strums here. And then come back with this little slide. And so I, I'm just kind of grabbing the first couple of strings with my pointer finger here. And I'm holding them down. There's the sound. So I'm pretty much just, just doing the first three strings. And if you're really skilled, you can just do one. I have a hard time with that, but you get those first first three strings. Probably. Yeah, I'd practice on this. Now, keep in mind the way that the timing of getting going down here has to line up with your. First learn it, you're doing it the easy way, right? I'm just gonna do the E. Because once you get the strum down, now now you're three quarters of the way home. Uh, and and the, the words, like like I said, the, the words are just when you're doing the doing the, the E. Now just before, okay, so you're just hanging on the on the E for all the words in the until you get to the end. So after I get through uh, the end and I get to the part where where it's it's coming up. Who do you love? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've still got the E down, but I'm going to strum with the higher strings. Before, I'm kind of hanging on these first big strings, right? See, I'm only hitting like the first three strings. But now just before the who do you love, I'm actually going to hit the, the, the lower strings, or the, yeah, the, the ones that are lower. So it'll sound more like this. And then I go to D, back, back, back to E, which is the same thing as this. It is, it's, it's the same number of strums. And then... Yeah, who do you love? Yeah, who do you love? And actually, that's a little, little trick that I, that I saw somebody do. And I thought, oh, I didn't realize that, that you know, that makes it make sense. Come down and pick these, these notes up when you do the, just before you do the who do you love, I don't know, but it's not really a chorus per se, but it kind of hits on the end. So there ain't a whole heck of a lot more to it than that. Uh, it, I'd say the biggest thing is getting this beat down. Once you got that, then you can rotate with the A or the D. And you can see I'm coming down with just one finger, but you could do it with three if you wanted to. It doesn't sound quite right. Because I gotta hit it real fast and get back. That's kind of hard to do with uh, uh, with doing the three finger thing. And you need to be doing that one finger thing anyway, right? So once you get the, the beat down, then start practicing this little slide. You gotta press your fingers down, and if you're having a little hard time, maybe you wanna put your second one on top of it. So, a uh, great example of a, of a fairly simple song, but yet, <laughs> You got a whole bunch of stuff going on with these slides. Even though you're just staying in, in the key of E, there's not even a B in here. We don't really go around, you know, with the, the you know the chord progression, you know, the one, four, five, and then come back. We don't do that. We just stay stay on this E the whole time, and uh, uh, it, it's a, such a great song. You can really put the energy in the vocals. Uh, 
It's one of my favorite songs. If somebody says, hey, well, you know, what do you want to do? <laughs> Who do you love, George Thurgood? You're going to see in the song sheet, there's nothing on about lyrics because there's no chord changes. There's just that E, A, D thing and then the slide with, the, with that. So uh, from that perspective, it's simple, but, you know, getting to this technique down. But strumming is so important, so, so important. And uh, that's probably your big challenge in here is to get that going. But it's not just this song. Many, many, many songs, uh, you're, you know, you're going to be able to use that same strumming pattern. All right, well, I hope you got something out of it. Uh, Who Do You Love, George Thorogood, 78, old Bo Diddley song, uh, probably from the 50s. All right, well, keep on a strumming, and we'll catch, catch you later. Yeah, who do you love? Yeah, yeah who do you love?